So the next session will be uh, taken by uh, Mr. Krishna Kant, uh, who is a research scholar from I IIT Hyderabad. And presently, he is working with us in the open form team of uh, FOSI IIT Bombay. The session will be on Laplacian foam plus conduction, uh, ICO foam plus scalar transport foam. So, Krishna Kant, over to you. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, I welcome you all uh, in this uh, day three, session five. Uh, this session will be on Laplacian foam, and uh, like it is, it is used for conduction problems. And uh, what Laplacian foam actually is like, uh, it uh, uh, it solves a simple one uh, equation which is shown here. So a temperature equation with just the Laplacian term and a source term. So it can be used for a conduction problem. It is uh, uh, both STD, it can solve both STD and transient problems. Uh, it implies the non-orthogonal corrections, but uh, uh, turbulence models are not incorporated in this. Okay. So the main junk of code is shown in here, like uh, this uh, in the colored box. So this is the main part of the code. And uh, so you might be like from our previous sessions, you are very well familiar with the discretization and all, but I'm still showing you for uh, the sake of completeness. And then, so uh, the case we will be studying is uh, uh, using this Laplacian form, we will be studying in a cavity problem where it, you can say it is a, a material slab, metal slab and uh, the domain and uh, the, the wall and all those will be same as the lead driven cavity problem as you are very familiar with this lead driven cavity case and uh, we will be specifying the time gradient and location schemes as shown here like time will be described as using a layer backward scheme and the grad t will be cost linear Laplacian will be the corrected schemes uh, the material diffusion property will be uh, 2 to 10 to the power minus 3 uh, meters per per second. And the um, boundary condition will also, we will take very simple boundary conditions, uh, will be digital condition. <laughs> but later on, I will be showing you how you can add a simple source term inside this slab, uh, in the half of the domain of the slab. So with, without further ado, let's start the process. Uh, Okay, so I am using WSL, and uh, so this is my first Ubuntu screen. So uh, let's start with. Uh, I need to source my open form. Uh, you guys may not need to because uh, you have already in your uh, bash RC file. So uh, can I get a yes or something like uh, all are you are with me till here? and started with the terminal. It's a hands-on session. So, so yeah. you can type in the chat box, why yes, yeah. yes or no, you can type. So, okay. So this in this case, we will be uh, showing you how to build a uh, case file from scratch. So let's start. Uh, so, but we will not write all, obviously all the uh, files ourselves. So just let us uh, copy. Uh, simple uh, file from the foam tutorials for the Laplacian foam. So I think you all are familiar with this process, like you can use the tab of button so that you can get like write the whole part of the code. So I am copying this file from foam tutorials, a basic Laplacian foam. and here it is the flange and we are copying it at the run folder okay Home. run and let's say we rename it to a heated cavity is fine Uh, are you all uh, done till here? 
so let us simultaneously see something like so that you uh, you can also check it uh, you can check this things whether it is working or not in this let's go to explorer.exe so that you uh, know where what is going on so let's say i am here side by side i will be showing you that's in my open form, this is my user directory. This is my run directory. So I, I have copied this seated cavity file. Okay. So now uh, let's go yes, into sir. that. Yeah. Hello. Sir, it is showing sir, no such file in directory. No such file in directory. Maybe you have uh, some uh, problem with the like the upper command, CP command with the location. Uh, you can, I mean, I, are you all getting this problem? Yeah. Most of you are getting this problem? Yes, sir. I also get the same problem that file is not showing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you are in the home directory, right? You all are in the home directory, right? If you do this LS, you are in the home directory where you have, you might be having this open form folder here. <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay. So why don't you, one of you, just uh, share the screen so that uh, uh, who are facing the problem, I, I will see. Yes, I will, sir. Okay. Someone share. So yeah, it worked, right? It worked. Very, I mean, you don't see it, but uh, I mean, uh, we will let it go there where you can see the file. It was, I don't see that there any error. So, okay, it's going. So, stop sharing. I will share my screen and continue. So, let's go where you can see the your edited cavity that you have copied just now. So we will go to the form run directory where you have copied this your file. So in the run directory, you can see your heated cavity that you have just now copied. We are copying it in the form run directory. Are you all able to see? Can I get uh, like some of you are able to see some of you are still here. Okay, so let's go. Uh, heated uh, cavity. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, so actually, we don't have heated file, ca uh, heated cavity file. You don't. You you it. might have not copied. I mean, the copy thing you need to do. The upper upper file, the second line in the screen. And uh, I think uh, Abhushan has shared the command, so you can copy it from the text box. Okay. So let's go into the heated cavity and make sure that you have these files. Zero, all clean, constant, flange, and sys system. So uh, so you might be seeing this dot uh, ansys file first time. So uh, it's, uh, I mean, if you want to run this kind of, uh, so you, uh, you can create, convert uh, the ansys files to open form mesh using just ansys to form command and uh, we won't be dealing i mean if time permits we will deal with it later so but in here for our file uh, for our case we will be we need a block mesh file for, from the lead driven cavity so let's copy this uh, block mesh file from your uh, from the, from the lead driven cavity. So for that, let's go to the your lead driven cavity problems. We need the form tutorials. And the lead driven cavity problem is in the incompressible cavity, cavity. And in their uh, system directory, and inside that block mesh git. And since I am already inside this heated cavity, 
so i will copy it in the system and say we are i am not renaming it so it will copy it with the name of block match dict itself okay and now to state home uh, cavity cavity block match string no such file directly the i group is missing here yes in front of cavity so are you guys uh, able to follow up this command line i have copied the block match dict from the lead driven cavity case done till here yes no so okay let's uh, then copy i uh, mean uh, so we need to edit uh, uh, this new block for this new block mesh we need uh, the all the uh, pressure all the boundary conditions everything all, in, mainly the boundary conditions are for the previous case for the uh, flange case which is that is what we have copied in the tutorial so we need to change the boundary condition accordingly for our our case so for that we will go to edit the t file in the zero folder so here you can see the boundary okay are you all able to see it so the boundary field are for the previous case of the flange case so but we are doing the lead driven cavity problem so our boundary field will be for the lead driven cavity case which is moving wall and fish walls and then by default let us say i keep all the other file faces empty okay. so we will give the fixed uh, reset condition that is fixed by condition and the value let's say keep it for the internal field as 300 for the moving wall that is the top wall let's say high temperature 350 for all the side walls let's say 300 again okay so i save this uh sir uh, please can you show the file again yes sir t5 so we are changing the face name like uh, the boundary face field um, in the block match deck we defined the boundary field uh, patch name so in the boundary condition then it will ask for the body condition for that patch so that is what we are defining here since in the lead driven cavity you are familiar that uh, there are uh, there are three kind of faces that is moving wall fish walls and front and back so in front and back i mean one way to define i mean other than all the moving wall and fixed walls whatever be the other patch fields patch walls uh, for all those it will treat as as empty just a generic way i have defined it otherwise you can I mean, in general people front and back also you can give the name are we good to go from here further people followed uh, yes Hello. yes uh form tutorial incompressible from there it is showing missing destination file missing destination file uh user library open can i share my screen okay share like the solution missing destination file you have not uh, followed the whole i mean i cannot see that you have typed the whole command 
you are just okay. doing a cp form to trace in complex with the whole command you have to type isn't it and there is no destination path so all so that's why this is giving that error okay 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 so let's go ahead we have uh, modified our temperature field according to our case so we are uh, we are no need to change the schemes and solvers so that's why we are good to go so uh, can you again just show the temperature file okay thank you sir okay thank okay so we are good to go then we can do the block mesh and we can do run the laplace scheme oh so so one of you if you can tell me like uh, what is, what is happening in here uh, why temperature is solved so many times you can type in the uh, chat box and why it is taking zero zero iterations and what no what is it necessary or i can undo it so let's say i want to i mean it's unnecessary why i need to solve it uh, every time right so let's say i will change so what i need to do not add exc system in the average solution if i go so in here you see that they have turned on the non orthogonal correction thing so make it zero then i mean it will it will not do the non orthogonal correction it will just solve one time so let's say to say if some computation time i am making it zero okay so look okay, uh, this thing is done so let's see our result so para view if i open so i think you are by now you are familiar how to open your uh result form so if you will go ahead and check your result form file so at the end it should look like something like this okay all some of you might have got it right yes no got the result so okay so the next step we will do what uh, we will add the source term some source term in here okay so for that what i will do i will copy one more thing which is my uh, fb option scheme so for that we will copy it from home tutorials in compressible in perform and then i think temperature it was rotation so turbine setting turbine settings constant and that system okay 
So I'm copying one FB option file. So yeah, FB file is FB option. So this new file I'm copying in my system directory. Any issue till here? Copying this new file. Everyone copied. Sir, what did you modify in FV solution? FV solution, I modified the non orthogonal correction to zero, but I have not run the case again. So it doesn't matter. I mean, and for this, this is a simple case, it won't change the solution also. As you can see, it is taking zero iteration also. Since it was orthogonal mesh, block mesh, so it doesn't matter. Non orthogonal correction is not needed. Uh, people copied the FV options file. So let us see what this new file we have copied. So it's actually it set up the your source term in your uh, solutions. So this is uh, one way to set your uh, source terms. So what uh, it, the case that we have published, the file that we have published is for different case. So for our case, I am going to modify it. Okay. So I am going to modify it also in a in a very generic manner. So this is very generic way to. I will explain you what is inside this. So for you, let's replace this file with these few lines. I think uh, you will get the commands I and mean, the, all the text files. I mean, someone will forward you this command line. You can copy paste from the chat box. This new line of code you need to add. Replace it in the FB option files. Not add, replace it in the FB option file. So is the code forwarded? Lines forwarded? Okay, I forward it. Yeah, I think it's forwarded now. So, okay, then save this file. So what this line that we are coding, we are saying is uh, we are adding this scalar coded source term because it's temperature is scalar. We are adding a scalar source term and the field that we are modifying it, it is T name. You can give anything. Let's say I'm giving XX. And uh, so uh, the, in the all the source term, we, you need to add it as a volumetry, which is a finite volume. Uh, code so we are, we need volume also and the source term uh, we are defining the scalar field t source equation equation will read this uh, equation for this field it will modify it will take take the source it will uh, take the pointer of this equation source terms and that will be saved in the t source and later on I am adding some term, some terms in this uh, pointer, source pointer for the temperature equation. So where I'm adding, so in this, you can see this is the uh, cell loop that, that is present here. So for all the cells, so here you can see the selection mode is all. So for all the cells and in this, in that cells, where this, this is the, uh, for X, X square plus Y square minus R square, if less than zero, if less than one, then I'm adding the source term. Okay. So this is X square. So X is here, MS C component. Uh, MS C for all, say, cell level I, it, it, this will go loop over all the cells. 
and for the ith cell uh, it, uh, it has the coordinate vector x y z so the component 0 is the x x component component 1 is the y component 2d case it is so we are adding x square plus y square minus r square less than 1 for all the cells satisfying that condition we are adding this source term okay so let us say I'm, i save this so we will rerun the case so what we will do we will clean the tutorial For cleaning it, we have the command foam clean tutorials. So we need to do the block mesh again. People are following. Can you show that uh, clean tutorial command once? Foam clean tutorials. Thank you. So Laplacian foam if I run now. So it is reading the IP option file. And now you can see there is uh, no non orthogonal corrections. It just solves one time with one iteration. And let's see the new results. Uh, sir? Hmm? Yes? After the command, home clean tutorial, sir, we have to do block mesh. Huh? Yes. Uh, but uh, after doing block mesh, it's showing home existing. Home exiting? Yes. You are in the heated cavity file uh, folder only. And have you previously done the block mesh thing previously without this FB option thing? At that time, you have run the case? Yes, sir. Previously, I ran. Okay. Share your screen. Can you do this phone clean to turtles once again for me? Do the block mesh. It ran right. I think you previously missed that. So, okay, we are good to check it now. Our new solution. Touch the result. Okay. So anyone till here followed up, I mean, run the cases, all the cases. So see the new result. So you can see the difference, right? Here yeah, because of this, and we have run till time three. So and fifty is the source time added. So around one fifty temperature profile is developing. So all of you done with uh, reach till here. Any doubts regarding the solver or a scheme and anything? Any question of this solver? Will this uh, sir? Yeah. After cleaning, I did block my estate. Then what we have to do? Uh, Laplacian form. Okay. My so, okay, let's do this one more case of this. We can see the uh, flan and sys, right? So we, I will show you how you can do that. But we have already modified the temperature file and all. 
so we will what we will do uh, i will come out of this i will copy that case once again okay cp form tutorials basic laplacian planch 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 i'm talking So okay, copy this file in here. Okay, new location, the destination location in this. So yeah, we copy it. Okay, so let's go to the flange case now, and we will. We have again the same case files. We no need to check change the body condition and schemes because it's already set uh, case file. So we will do do that. Insist for to form and flange. Scale. We are we can scale our mesh also. So I'm scaling the uh, ansys file to let's say. One e minus three, so it run properly. Laplacian form. Two, you need to capital. L T two is small. T is capital. So let's say touch. So the new file I will load now. So this is how the new test just access file you that you have run. So this is one tutorial for how you can convert the mesh of ansys to form. Anyone having any doubt in this skill here? Uh, sir, what do you mean by scale? Uh, scaling like the while making the this geometry. We yes. not one may not be taking care of like the dimension, maybe meter or anything like something like that. So if if I suppose while making the this geometry, I have kept let's say this distance as one meter. So I have while if I do the scaling, then it will become one mm. Like if the if I do the scaling with one e minus three. Actually, you have the all, all the dim yeah all the geometry will be multiplied with one e minus three. Okay, you uh, you uh, you have made uh, you have made the made this uh, geometry by by different uh, different dimension in ansys and uh, you no actually uh, it's come with the tutorial case i okay. have not i mean in the open form tutorial case it comes with that okay okay if you want to see the dimensions and all you can check here yes but i see this will tell you the dimension Dimensions. How these dimensions are? Previously, if you don't do the dimension, then you can say that it might be twenty-five or something like that. One minute. Okay.
So one thing I missed actually. One of you can redo it and just tell me what happens. I haven't changed the transport properties. Dxc constant. So keep it two e minus three because. In the latter case, in the next session, I will be. I mean, we can analyze our results. Like in the just in the previous case, if uh, you do without the source term with the same diffusivity, two e minus three, two e minus three, you can see how the results vary with the source term. And then later, when we will add the velocity field coupled with icofoam, how our results will modify because of the velocity field. So it will be a good comparison. But uh, so we missed it. So you can do it later on, I mean, for your own sake. Okay. Anyone, any doubt? I think if no doubt, then after answers to form, you can uh, with, I mean, check your results and obtain the results. So if no doubt, then maybe I can start the another session so that uh, there we will have the spare time to yeah, create the solver. Should yes, I? Yes, it's a good idea. You can start the next one. Okay.